Okay, and welcome to another tutorial for helicopter gunship decks. I'm Jim from Jimmy Arcade, and in this tutorial we're looking at control settings and bindings. Uh, now, I know a lot of people have been saying um, that uh, they've had trouble with binding controls and it's not seeing their joystick axis or totally ignoring their joystick or they get the totally the wrong axis. And uh, this did flummox me for some time, but I think I have found the issue. And it doesn't affect everybody, and it seems to affect uh, it differently when you start the game. So uh, for me, it works absolutely perfectly in the Unity editor. If I build the game, it seems sporadically work, except it always, always works perfectly for the Xbox 360 pad. And of course, because that's what I'm using and developing for, I couldn't see the issue. So anyway, um, that is now fixed in the latest build of this game, which is now on Steam, and you should get that automatically. Um, but I'm just going to go through uh, binding my X55 to the major flight controls, just so you can see that it is actually working now. So we'll go into control settings, and you'll see that up the top here, I've got uh, three controllers in at the moment. I've got the X55 throttle, X55 stick, and uh, my Xbox One controller as well. So we're going to bind the X55. So I'm just looking at on these numbers to make sure that all my uh, controls are centered or as close to center as they can be. Uh, that should be pretty good. I've just got one there that is a little bit out. Yeah, there we go. Right, uh, so we're just going to go down to joystick axes and we are going to do collective first. So we're just going to click bind axis and I'm going to move my throttle up and down and there we go and then you'll see this is the control input it is now registering it i'm sliding it up and down it's working now the reason it's snapping in the middle is that's the dead zone we actually don't need quite so much of that i'm going to just put it down to 0 0.5 and that's much better there we want a little bit in the middle so we can snap to uh kind of like midway point that is great uh cyclic x so we're going to do that now and there we go that's picked it up. Now I did have to move that to the left and then to the right uh, for it to pick it up. Uh, sometimes it'll do it on the first movement. Sometimes it will take a movement to both axes for it to see the uh, see the change. So that's now working perfectly. And we'll do the cyclic Y up and down. There we go. That's done it. And then finally twist onto the rotation axis. There we go. And that looks like it might be going in the right direction as well. Uh, I'm not sure about the Y. I think that might need to be inverted. Um, and that's all I'm going to bind at the moment because those are the major flight controls. We're just going to go to instant action. Uh, I'll do it in the day so I can actually see what I'm doing. Just let that load. There we go. I'm just going to go straight to start mission. We're on the pad, nice and stable. Just going to check. Yeah, that's right. That is correct. Tail rotor looks good. Collective looks good. Let's get up in the air. And there we go. We are now buying to my X55. It's that easy now. And, you know, it wasn't, obviously wasn't working uh, before, except it was for me on the Xbox pads. In fact, it does work with the Xbox pads for some reason. Um, and I'm still not 100% sure what it is. It seems to be like a timing issue in the code, uh, something to do with the joystick drivers. However, the Microsoft pads are not affected by it. So who knows? Um, it's one of those things that you just cannot find until you get it in front of a lot of people with all different setups. So thank you to all those in early access that stuck with it. Um, your input in finding this and solving it has been invaluable. But there you go. Hopefully that's um, shown that everything is now working. And hopefully I can get on with doing some more interesting stuff like new helicopters. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that informative and I hope you join me for the next one.